All right, welcome to the quilting corner here at Lake George, where the usual artistic magic from the spouse takes place all summer long. And this is a kind of a momentous occasion because uh, she is actually going to do a fully freelance on her own art quilt. And we'll have to explain what that is because art quilts are a special critter in the quilting world. It's not just a bunch of squares pieced together. So, the subject of the art quilt is this here flower, right? And the flower yes. is what? From where? It's on a hibiscus plant in our front yard in Florida. Okay. And I really love it. Yeah, the hibiscus flowers are huge. They last a couple of days and it's and they they show up in the dead of winter, so it's a nice thing to have. So, instead of just sewing together a bunch of squares and stuff, you're actually going to be doing something it almost looks like paint by numbers, but in this case it's paint with fabric. So what do you got to do? How are you proceeding to translate this flower into a quilt? All right, I took it this to Staples and enlarged it. Yep. To this. Okay, so it's a little bigger now. All right. Then I used a fine point Sharpie and I tried to find the shades. So you drew a little border between different colors and different shades. Right. And it sort yeah. of has a kind of an interesting, I dare I say, paint by numbers without trivializing this whole thing. Yes. It's it's a little bit hard because the, the edges blur, yeah. but I had to make a decision. So okay. I did that. So now, then, but that's kind of small. You can't obviously work it off of that. That's a little small. And I think I see beneath right. the layers of stuff here, you've got something a little more... Okay. Then I... Stuck it up in the window and oops, traced it onto this freezer paper. So now you've got all the gradations in black and white. Yes. Okay. Then I took it back to Staples. <laughs> yep. And enlarged it. Ah, so there it to is. This. And it looks a little abstract and weird. It, it's so there's true. a certain risk in this whole business here. Because who knows how it will come out. Well, it's but not it's gonna come out exactly the same. Yeah, but it's worth a try. Right. All right, now you've made some progress. Well, first thing you did was you picked you picked fabric for this, right? Yeah. Show me the fabric. Yeah. There's all the fabric, and I numbered it here. Yep. They're all numbered, all of them. Uh and there's a, a good deal of, you know, the sort of bright hibiscus colors that you can see in the original photo. Yellows and reds and pinks and whatnot. Okay. Okay, then... And then... Oh, I have to think about this. Okay, so then I used freezer paper again, and I traced the... Oh, all those weird little bizarre zones. Each separately. I had to move them so there'd be space between them to cut them out. Yeah. And then I cut them out. Yep. And I ironed the freezer paper onto a piece of fabric. Like that iron it on it's you put the shiny side down and it kind of melts onto the fabric yeah okay then on the other uh, cut that out and on the other side of the fabric i ironed on a fusible and this is has stickiness on it and so it was on the other side and then i cut out the shape unfortunately i can't well here's here's one that's left over from before it's not going to be used but this had the freezer paper on here which has been peeled off yeah on the back is the fusible it's which is the fabric it's which double, ends up in the finished product is double-sided fusible oh yeah so after you iron it on you peel off the paper and you have this sticky stuff yeah and then if you've cut it out the way you want it you stick it on your fabric there. All right, going so to let's use. pull out the working art area here. Okay, so this is it. And it kind of looks like a drunken map of the United States. Oh, sorry. The, looks like a drunken map of the United States so far. Yeah, I mean, it, it. you look at it and you go, I don't know about that. Well, the thing is, it doesn't have the lines on it that the picture has. Yeah. So I'll do my best with the future other fabrics but then i'm going to do what's called thread painting and i have and that's whole, where this machine might come in handy eh? a whole handful <clears throat> of colors of thread yep. which then i will sew lines 
out back and forth to make the lines of the flower. All right. So I've been trying to egg you into doing an art quilt forever. Mm -hmm. And you've done some. I mean, this, this one here is kind of an art quilt, but dare I say, it's a kit. Yes, right? it is. And it's lovely. Always fun. And, and you've, you've, you've added stuff to it, yep. your own sort of touch mm -hmm. to it. But this is full, made up by yourself with your own picture from some real life thing. And that's how you fly it. So we're going to keep up with this because there'll be some further steps to follow. But that's it for now. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Or we'll see how it doesn't go. Okay, well, it'll go someplace. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody. Bye.